So today we have the incredibly talented X Factor finalist Jonathan Ansel who is coming to Viva Blackpool Tuesday the 4th of June to perform in the incredible Les Musicals. Thank you Jonathan for coming here today. Yeah, Viva great Blackpool. to be here. Looking forward to, uh, looking forward to going back again soon. So it's not your first time performing, at, um, performing in Blackpool, is it? What keeps you coming back to perform so much here? Do you know what? I love the place. It's really great fun. It's quintessentially England by the sea. And uh, having grown up on the coast in Sussex, it just feels like home to me. I love the place. That's great. So for viewers that may have never heard of Les Musicals, we expect they have been living under a rock. What? What's the to expect from the show? What are you going to see? So the uh, the show went out last year and we're back on the road again this year. Uh, myself and Jai McDowell, he won Britain's Got Talent back in 2011. And uh, he and I are just singing all the big show tunes from the West End and Broadway and uh, just having a great time tying all those songs together and giving people a really fun, mixed, varied, emotional at times, uplifting and, uh, and get people up dancing and uh, singing along at the end as well. It's a really fun mix and a great fun show to do. Perfect. So we um, know that you perform The Greatest Showman in Les Musicals and we also do at Viva the Vegas Variety Show. What are some other songs in Les Musicals that you love to perform? So The Greatest Showman is going to be opening the show this year and it's really lovely to have some new material from uh, such an incredible movie. I think it's just c captured so many people, uh, the incredible music from that. But there's of course Les Mis, Phantom of the Opera and, uh, and we've got some stuff this year, Whistle Down the Wind that I was uh, performing the lead for, gosh, quite a long time ago. And uh, I did that for nine months and it was an amazing show. And up until now, I've never sung any of the songs. So I've had lots of requests, so that's in there too. It's a good mix. And we're looking forward to it. So sadly, as you said, Jack will be with us today. Um, now we know that the pair of you do perform some more um, traditionally female-led ballads. Uh, uh -huh. Is there any other ballads that are more performed traditionally by a female that you want to put, add in there maybe in the future? There's a few, there's one song in particular that I'm very excited about in this show, uh, Memory from Cats is just one of those songs that I just adore and, and obviously it's one of those songs that everybody recognises straight away. The fun thing is that we're putting a whole new twist on it this year and I'm taking the helm and singing, uh, singing that song with a twist as I say so it's uh, exciting to have that opportunity. That sounds great, I know we'll all be singing along to that one. So. Like I said, you touring with James. What's life like on the tour bus? We've seen on his Instagram, obviously he's Scottish, he loves Burns Night and he's been going through drive throughs I mean, have you found any hidden iron brew anywhere? How's it going for you? <laughs> he just travels with iron brew. At the end of his bunk, he's got crates of the stuff. <laughs> Uh, he's on the diet iron brew at the moment, so that's good. He's, he's wanting to stay slender through the tour and uh, he and I are training hard. We're having a great, great time. It's wonderful um, to, to be traveling with him. He's a top, top man and, uh, and he's behaving himself so far. Well, that's more than I can say for the rest of us. <laughs> So how did you two meet? How did it all become? How did he get involved in Les Musicals? So uh, over the years, it's uh, amazing how different friendships develop. And uh, Jai was, as I say, 2011, Britain's Got Talent. And I was doing a show up in Scotland, uh, actually with Ramin Karimlu, um, fabulous musical theater artist. And uh, I was on stage with him and then afterwards signing some albums. Jai came up and said hi, and it was wonderful to meet him then and just really struck a chord with him. And I've done various shows with him over the years since, and it just felt right this time round with, with this tour to, uh, to give Jai a call and say, hey, do you want to uh, share the stage with me? And uh, it's wonderful that he accepted the invitation and we're uh, delighted to hit the road together. I mean, two talented guys together, what can go wrong? Now, you and Jai have both been having your experience with reality TV, yourself being on The X Factor and himself, as you said, winning Britain's Got Talent. What do you think keeps the fans coming back from those early days way back when when you were on X Factor? I think the wonderful thing about being on the early series for, for me or the first series of X Factor with my fellow bandmates in G4 was that it was a real talent show back then and people really felt from their sofas at home that they were watching the development and nurturing of some new new artists of the future and it's wonderful to have been part of that and to have the supporters from back then 15 years ago scarily and they still come back and they're always there at the front rows they still come and support year after year and it's an amazing amazing thing i think the shows have definitely moved on and become more tv uh, than reality search and i'm yeah. delighted we were on their early doors it's an amazing format to have done very very pleased we did it great so how do you think you've you know transformed within yourself 
from those 15 years ago? How have you grown as an artist to what you are today? Well, uh, I think 15 years on, you learn a huge amount about yourself, about your performing. I think your voice, unfortunate, being trained in opera and classical singing and, uh, and mixing it up through the shows I do. My, my voice actually is improving as the years go on. It's getting richer, it's getting more colours, I'm getting different things every single time I perform that I discover and then want to explore more and more and I, I think I'm hoping touch wood that that continues into the into the future too but it's um it's a learning experience every performance you do you learn something new and I'm delighted I can draw upon all that wealth of experience from over the years and we're so excited to see you here at Viva now for the really exciting part of today we're about to go up to the top of the tower are you ready the top the very top we have to do the stairs. I think we're going to have to do the stairs and also the skywalk. I hope you're not scared of heights. We talked about this. We'll see. That was quite scary earlier. today I've just filled my pockets with 10 peas in the arcade I love all the different fun stupid things you can be a big kid here in Blackpool and totally get away with it I love the place I am brave I am bruised this is who I'm meant to be this is Do you know what? there's so many people I think the, the iconic opera voice of Luciano Pavarotti I don't think he ever played Blackpool uh, but uh, along with uh, some of the amazing people that play here I just think it's a great place for entertainment and it's uh, a real thrill to be part of it now with our show. He has, yeah, it's, uh, it's wonderful to have Lewis on board and the show we did at the Tower Ballroom last Christmas with G4 it was a real special moment for him to step out onto stage and, uh, and uh, it's just wonderful to have local people at shows like that. Lewis is uh, showing us all the sights. He brought us up here in the Tower and we did the Walk of Faith or whatever it's called and uh, all of us survived as well. Do you know what, the circus would be great fun to do. I'm not sure I'd be quite up there with some of the acrobatic skills that they've got in the show, but it's, um, it's something I'd love to actually get to the Blackpool CrossFit. There's one that I saw online, so maybe I'll join them and uh, build up my skills first before joining maybe the circus. Maybe you'll get that sorted for when you uh, <laughs> form a V, the fingers Perfect. cross. So I guess something from The Greatest Showman would be, uh, would be a great choice. We open the show with it. Uh, something like... Never enough, never, never, never enough, never, never, never enough for me, for me. Here we are, Blackpool. Gonna be more. Never enough. Towns of gold are still too little. These hands. 